All right, this is part three um, of our series here as we are doing a review of uh, working with radicals and exponential expressions. But uh, in this video, we're going to practice simplifying radical expressions such as these. Okay, so we're picking up here with number 15. All right, first of all, please understand that uh, radical expressions work just like variable expressions do. Um, if I have 3x um, plus 5y minus 7x, for example, I'm hoping at this point when you look at an expression like this, you say to yourself, wait a minute, um, these are like terms, the x's are like terms. Uh, but the y is not, okay? It does not have any like terms. So um, negative 3x and, uh, I'm sorry, positive 3x and negative 7x, if you put those together, that makes negative 4x, okay? And then you just have your uh, 5y that just comes straight down, okay? So th that's combining like terms. Now, um, compare that with a similar radical expression. Okay, uh, let me just put a line right here. So you can really compare. Um, okay, if I have, for example, if I have 3 radical 5 um, plus 5 radical 2, minus 7 radical 5. Now I'm hoping you can see that this is virtually the same thing as what we have. But instead of x's, we have radical 5's. Instead of this y, we have radical 2. Nevertheless, um, these are like terms. Just like with the x's, uh, with the x's are like terms. Um, if they both have radical 5, those are like terms. Um, so once again, if we put these together, um, 3 minus 7 is negative 4. So we would get negative 4 radical 5. Okay? And then just like before, we would bring down the, uh, the other term, plus 5 radical 2. Okay? So um, when you combine these like terms, the radical part stays the same. Now, by the way, if um, you know, if we had the square root of five, and if this one had been the cube root of five, then there would have been nothing we could do. It has to be the exact same root and the radicand, the number underneath, um, to be able to combine like terms. Okay, so that should be enough to take a look back here. So looking at number five, um, let's look and see if we have any like terms, because there's nothing I can simplify under the radical. And look, I'm seeing that we have radical 2 here, and we have radical 2 here. So those are like terms. Okay, so if I put those together, um, 2 radical 2 minus 6 radical 2. 2 minus 6 is negative 4, so that'll be negative 4 radical 2. Okay, the radical 2 part just stays the same. And that just leaves the uh, radical 5. So I'll just bring down my plus radical 5. And that would be the answer to number 15. Now, one more really important thing I want to point out to you. Your calculator handles square root expressions really well. Most square root expressions um, can be done on the TI-30XS multi-view. Uh, so you should give it a shot. Um, just to check your answer uh, if you are allowed to use it. So um, let's practice typing this in. So if we do 2 radical 2, okay, plus, and make sure you escape from under the radical, and then plus the square root of 5, all right, escape from under the radical, and then minus 6 radical 2. Okay, so you can see I typed it in just the way it looks on the paper. Okay, 
Um, so your calculator wrote it with the radical 5, like the blue part first, and the minus 4 radical 2 second. Um, either way, uh, the order of these two terms doesn't really matter. So, But notice your calculator handles this quite nicely. So um, you still have to show your work when there is work to show, but there's no point in getting the wrong answer when your calculator is right there ready to help you. Okay, now looking at number 16. Um, now, 27 is not a perfect square. But uh, let's just work this off to the side a little bit. Okay, I'm just focusing on the square root of 27. The square root of 27. Um, we're dealing with squares, so I need a perfect square factor. What perfect square? I'm talking about 4, 9, 16, 25, which one of these divides evenly into 27? Well, hopefully you're yelling at the screen and you're going, 9, Mr. Burton, 27 is 9 times 3. And you'd be right if you were yelling that. Okay, I wrote that 9 in red because we can go ahead and take the square root of 9 and bring that out of the uh, square root. All right, the square root of 9 is 3. Just a plain old ordinary 3, no radical. Now the blue 3 is going to be stuck under the radical. So, so radical 27 is the same thing as 3 square root 3. All right, that means I can rewrite this problem. All right, now I've got 4 radical 3 minus. Now instead of writing radical 27, um, now I can put 3 radical 3. Okay, and now you can see that these are in fact like terms. I've got radical 3 and radical 3. So 4 minus 3 is 1. So this is just going to be 1 radical 3, but we don't put the unnecessary 1. We just put radical 3. So that should be your answer for number 16. All right, numbers. Oh, and once again, let's let's see if uh, if the calculator would have been able to do this one. Okay, four radical three minus radical twenty-seven, and that's radical three. Okay, so I'll be so upset if anybody gets a problem wrong that you could have done on the calculator. Now again, you must show your work. You know, if you skip this step and just go straight to radical 3, I'm not going to give you credit. But if you know ahead of time that radical 3 is going to be the answer, it will probably help you figure out what you need to do. Okay, number 17. Now this is multiplication. So multiplication is very different than addition and subtraction like we've been doing so far. Uh, for multiplication, you don't need like terms, okay? Uh, all you need is uh, you need the roots to be the same, uh, and we have that. So um, if the roots are the same, you can go ahead and multiply. So uh, radical 2 times radical 8, well, 2 times 8 is 16, so this will be radical 16, okay? And the square root of 16 is simply... Four, so the the answer should be four. Okay, is this one that the calculator would have done? Uh, let's see. I kind of have to slide this over. Okay, um, radical two times radical eight. Let's see. Radical two times radical 8 4 okay which is exactly what we got by hand huh why are these lines sticking around uh, let's see maybe if I go like that all right so that was number 17 okay number 18 hmm I feel like these should be down below how much space is down here Okay, um, hold, stand by. Well, here we've got this radical in front of these parentheses. 
I don't know about you, but I feel a distributive property coming on. Radical 2 times 5, well that's just going to be 5 radical 2. Radical 2 times radical 3 uh, is radical 6. Um, and you know what? There's, there's nothing else to be done. You can't simplify a radical 6. So these are not like terms. Um, so that's it. It's end of the line. Okay. Like before, let's put this in the calculator and see what the calculator would have done with this. Okay. Um, so let's see. We could have typed in square root of 2, then parentheses, 5 minus square root of 3 close your parentheses okay again for some reason your calculator always gives us in reverse order from what I'm used to just me, I'm trying to make it bigger uh, it's not working we'll just use a little screen here um, yeah the calculator is giving us negative radical 6 plus 5 radical 2 instead of 5 radical 2 minus radical 6 it's but it means the same thing alright either way so again there's no reason for you to get these problems wrong people it's crazy talk now number 19 um, first of all I can't add these they are not like terms okay this is a cube root and this is a square root so I can't add them um, what I can do is uh, this is a perfect square so I can go ahead and, and just make that a 2 okay so this is going to be the cube root of 4 plus 2 okay or you could have 2 plus the cube root 4 is more common alright but that's all you can do with number 19 okay hmm wondering if they want us to do anything else with that I thought about it nothing else you can do with that alright this is the last one we're gonna do on this particular video because after that it changes to uh, polynomial functions and that's completely different so one more problem uh, unfortunately your calculator won't help you much with the cube roots it'll just give you a decimal and that's certainly not good enough but um look how easy this is we don't we don't need a stinking calculator alright um, we got like terms this is cube root 7 and this is cube root 7 you could think of this as 1 cube root 7 if you want to minus 3 cube roots of 7 well m 1 minus 3 is going to be negative 2 so we have negative 2 cube roots of 7 okay one of these minus three of these is negative two of these alright so the radical part doesn't change so that is it for number twenty and that's all for this video so uh, let's see coming up that was part three coming up in part four we're going to deal with um, adding subtracting and multiplying and probably evaluating polynomial functions such as this and I will see you on that video